Hello everyone, it is Andrew here from MAO Magic with the One Drop Glucose Meter. Now, I love glucose meters. There's so many different ones out there on the market, and when it's something that you kind of have to live with every day being a diabetic, it's definitely something you should put some thought into, and there's tons of different advantages to different ones out there, but this one's a little bit unique, and it's very, very interesting. It is a Bluetooth-connected glucometer that actually syncs up to the OneDrop app. It is a fantastic app that allows you to track things like your activity, your food, your insulin. Even if you're on a pump, it has kind of a way so you can program that in there and really try to track everything in one spot. It's also a little bit unique as it actually is a completely a subscription service. So for less than $40 a month, you get unlimited glucose strips as well as some other kind of different perks that we'll touch on in a little bit. The meter was actually funded really quickly inside of Indiegogo, a kind of a self-starter campaign. And when you do get one, which they are now shipping, they're even available inside of Apple stores, you get this really sharp looking box. You get an actual, the Lancer to Lancer finger. You have a little case, which is a really cool kind of leather case with some orange stitching around the outside. Then you have the actual glucometer itself. Beneath the meter, you have a little baggie of different um, lancing tips, so you can just swap those out every time you test. And then there's also two boxes of test strips. Each of those boxes has one vial, and each of those vials actually contains 50. So you have 100 total strips that come with the kit. But if you do sign up for the subscription service, aside from the meter, you will also get just unlimited test strips as you use them. They'll automatically start to send you more. The Lansing device is not my absolute favorite one out there, but it definitely gets the job done and it works really nicely in this package. There's pretty standard tips that you can put into there, put it in, make sure it's all the way in, put the cap back on, and it's pretty much like many of the others, you pull back the back of the actual device and then click the little button and it'll prick your finger. There is an adjustment here so you can have it go deeper or more shallow depending on how calloused your hands are or if it just doesn't seem to be getting in there deep enough, you can increase that. For me though, I just really keep it on the shallowest option and it does just fine. It is a little bit lightweight but does have that chrome finish and one drop printed on the side and of course that red accent, reddish orange accent on the top to match the other parts of your kit. Everything does go into that little carrying case, which is probably one of my favorite features. Not many kind of put a kind of importance on making this actually look good, even though you have to carry it around with you every day. Even when I have this, everyone's like, whoa, what's that? That looks kind of cool. And it's like, oh, it's my, my glucose meter. So it's not something that is really kind of ugly and looks just like this bag you have to carry around with you. It's really sharp, minimalistic, and I have no problem just sticking this in a back pocket or something as I'm walking around, and it keeps everything together. One kind of minor complaint that I had with it was when you're actually taking the meter itself out. If you put it in correctly, it has the accent side up, but that's also the side with the button. So as I'm trying to pull it out, I'm actually pressing the button and turning it on if I'm not necessarily meaning to. Again, this is a pretty minor problem. It's like, oh no, it turned on, so what? And really, if it bothers me that much, I can just turn it the other way around and it doesn't have to perfectly line up. When you do start to use it over time though, they become easier to take out of the case to the point where they'd almost fall out if you were kind of not paying attention. Testing your blood works like pretty much other meat meter out there. Prick your finger, put enough blood on the actual thing, it'll beep. Once it does have the proper amount, a few seconds later it'll give you your reading. But what's really nice is that we'll all store in the meter, but it'll also store over here on your phone. It'll connect using Bluetooth and just transfer all that into an encrypted OneDrop app, even syncing with the health app if you are on iOS. If you have the app open, you turn your meter on, it'll instantly give you that option to import all of those settings. You can choose which of your readings you want to import in, if some were kind of bad readings or something. And then you can actually go into each of them individually and add notes. So maybe you want to add some food to a reading that you just took. Maybe you want to add some notes to it. Maybe you want to add um, some food or tags like before exercise or whatever it is. You can really get as granular as you want with these readings, which I really, really like. If you're someone who just wants kind of like an overview, you can do it. If you want to get really, really in there and kind of annotate everything, you can do that as well. So for instance here, I had a reading that was 408, which was crazy high. I can actually go in there and add a note saying, oh, I forgot to wash my hands and there was orange juice on my hands and this was incorrect. Or if you are really worried about it, you can even just remove it completely. Now this is not just about your glucose. You can actually add all these other things in here as well. You can manually import or input your stuff. So you don't actually have to use the one drop meter. You can provide your own, but you can add things like uh, medications. If you have other medications that you take and see how those may affect your blood sugar, you can add exercise, which will also pull in from HealthKit on your iPhone or 
uh, iOS device, and then you can even add food. It has a full food database that you can actually go through, look up your food, you can use the barcode scanner and scan like a package of food that you may have. Just a very, very robust food option here. You can actually create meals, which is really nice, so you don't have to do something cursory like carrots, you can go ahead and add certain types of carrots and what else you mix with them and create an actual meal that you can add to your log and it'll show it on there. So you're really getting a full comprehensive picture of your diabetes lifestyle. There's also OneDrop Experts, which is part of your premium account that you may have for under that $40, and it actually gives you a personal expert that you can use to ask questions that can help you with your diabetes. The app itself just uses a lot of really new technologies that iOS offers, at least on the, you know, the iPhone here. You can use 3D Touch, they have widgets, a lot of the features that some apps don't really take advantage of, they definitely build in right from the start. I love having that daily view inside my widgets where it will give me an idea of my activity, my blood sugar, um, my medication I've taken. You can actually put in your pump settings for your insulin. All really, really nice. 3D Touch allows me to quickly and easily add things like my meds, food, or movement right from the app icon without having to get into the app itself. So I have been using the one drop meter basically since it launched and I have been very, very happy with it. If you're looking to change things up and want to have more of a high-tech take on your diabetes, this is definitely something to check out, especially with unlimited test trips without having to worry about insurance. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. If you'd like to pick one up, of course, we've gone ahead and put a link for you in the description. Otherwise, make sure you subscribe so we can keep cool videos like this coming. Otherwise, until next time, this is Andrew for MAO Magic.